from Calgary to the Maritimes. The Maritimes wasn't, you know, got fired after a couple of months from the Maritimes. Then I took some time where I, I felt like uh, my head was wrong. And then I got an opportunity to go to England for All-Star Wrestling. Wow. Brian, Di the Brian Dixon. Yeah. And then when we got there, me and my partner, Rick Crawford, uh, we, we had so much success. And then we stayed there for a while. And then we went for Rene Lazardes in uh, Germany. And then from Rene, uh, which where Chris Jericho went to, uh, I got booked for auto vans. And it was one of those deals where they say, we have some room for you, but um, we can't bring your partner in. So that so was a was a tough decision. I was willing to stay with my partner, but he says, "Well, it's the kind of life that you know, not knowing what's next, or there's no security. Do what you have to do." So I went for auto, went to Puerto Rico, and then met with Jacques Rougeau, and then had a few tryouts with WWE, and then got hired as a pullbackers. Well, um, just going back to Germany, because three of the people that you either wrestled with or wrestled against are three of my favorites. Regal, Finley, Dave Taylor. You've got to have some stories about all three of them or at least one of them. Yeah. Well, we're, we, we were big, 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 big fans of Dave Finley. Uh, me and my partner, I remember we watched his match. We really like his work. Um uh, We liked the way he, he was such a heel, you know. He was, he, and especially like in England, he was great. It was awesome. In Germany, he was even better. I mean, he was, his crowd just could eat in his hands, you know. He had so much control over everything he was doing. Um, but I never felt like I was that tight with David, with, with Finley, but uh, I felt I was a good friend with him, but we weren't that. Tight, tight, like I was with, let's say, Brookside and Doug Dean, or even Steve Regal, and 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 Finley and Taylor. They were pretty good friends, and it, it just happened that one time we're on a road trip and uh, we're riding with Finley and uh, and David Taylor, and me and my partner were in the back, and for maybe five five or six hours during the whole drive to the show. We kept yapping and talking in French, <laughs> and they got annoyed. Like they were so mad that they couldn't understand anything we were saying, and they and they thought maybe we were, you know, kayfabing the boys yeah. or talking <laughs> in their back. But we had no bad intentions whatsoever. It's our first primary language. We're 21 years old. We don't know any better, and then we learned our lesson. Like we learned our lesson there. Like we uh, we made sure after that, like because it came back from all the boys. Yeah, apparently you guys speaking French the whole time. And you're you know kayfabing the guys, and and so and so it was like uh, it was our probably during the first two weeks there. So it was. It was It was, uh, we got there with a little bit of heat, <laughs> but, but, but I was there for a long time, like, uh, between, uh, Germany and England, it was probably three, four years altogether. And I came back a few times and, uh, I felt like in Germany, I got along good with, uh, with every, all of them, but uh, Regal was good. It was a really good, I felt good with Regal. Brookside, Doug Dean, uh, even David Taylor. And uh, definitely was a guy that was like a little bit cold, but uh, but cool, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we didn't hang out that much, but uh, we didn't hang out with all the other guys, you know, quite a lot. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I remember a story that William Regal says once about Finlay is uh, when he was about 18, he wrestled Finlay for the first time and he was so intimidated by him that he just, he wouldn't take anything at all. So he just ended up just getting eaten up, eaten up until Finlay himself said, do you not make comebacks? And then, <laughs> oh yes I do. And then he, you know, that kind of thing. So, I mean, was it the same thing with Finlay? Just like, like an intimidating dude to get in the ring with? Uh, 
Well, I can relate to Regal because Regal started when he was 16 years old. Uh, but the thing is, like, uh, the same thing happened with me and Bob De La Serra. I, for me, Bob De La Serra was a huge star. He had been for Otto as UFO. Uh, he was on TV with international wrestling. And my some of the my first matches were against Bob. But it was a house show. It was not TV. And you used to see, you know, when you're a young kid and you're on TV, you get squashed, you know? So... Um, I'm having my, my one of the, the first match uh, with Bob, and uh, we don't have time back then. We didn't have time to talk about or in different sites, different different dressing rooms. Puerto Rico was like that too. You have it sometimes when it's a main event, the tape recorder with the finish at the <laughs> end, but everything was called in the ring, you know, except the finish sometimes when it was a big match. But that was an opening match against Bob. Uh, a house show and he, he wanted to give me things but i was too shy you know i was too like oh i can't do that it's bob you know and then uh, my my dad came to watch my match and said well why you let him beat you up the whole time you know <laughs> was, well i don't know it's bob that i sarah i'm doing my best you know so it was kind of a one of those deal i think that regal went through uh because when you're you're in the game and you know how it goes and you have the experience you you know, you, you take, you know, the time that you need to take when it's your time to do things, you know. So uh, that's that's the way that, uh, you know, Finlay would work, you know. You, you, you might have been, like, uh, yeah, uh, impressive or whatever. But, you know, the, 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 the greatest thing about this thing is, like, I didn't, I didn't get along... I got along fine with him, but he was not one of my best friends, but he was my favorite worker. Yeah. It was just kind of, kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't work him that much as a tag team. Uh, we had a couple of matches. I, I had him as a partner in Germany a few times. Uh, I didn't wrestle them that many times, a few times in tag teams, but it mostly was my tag partner during tag matches, which we got along fine. Uh, and then he became an agent of WWE when I was there. Mm. So when I was there for a while, he was an agent. So um, I always thought that WWE misused him so so wrongly because uh, they they made him like a comedy, and he was anything but a comedy. Mm. He was feared. He was he was just a great one of the greatest wrestler that couldn't show on a larger stage mm. all his talent and it took them time to hire him like uh they should have hired him when he was like 35 36 when he when i when i was 21 when i got in england my first time he was red out at that time and uh they brought him in for some dark matches and they didn't didn't see anything in that guy but uh he was uh yeah, he was one of the greatest wrestlers in England. Yeah, of was, all time. Yeah, he was one of the only people. Uh, he was the only only people in England who had a finisher as well, which is the pile driver, and nobody else had a finisher.